All right, good day, everyone. I want to say thank you for joining today's press conference with the West Indies lead selector, the most honorable Dr. Desmond Haynes, who will be speaking with us briefly about the selection of the team for the upcoming ODI International Home Series against England. And thereafter, we'll have an opportunity for persons to pose questions to Dr. Desmond Haynes. Dr. Haynes, please proceed. Yes, hi, good evening all. Um, thanks very much for coming. Um, I just wanted to say, I would like to start this off uh, by congratulating Alzari Joseph on his 27th birthday. Um, and also, I want to congratulate him as well as being appointed as West Indies Vice Captain. Azari has really uh, indicated to us a lot of leadership qualities. Uh, captain the Leeward Islands this year in the Super 50 for the first time. He was very impressed by our panel, the selection panel. And um, and we believe that with a bit of, you know, you know, we always looking for leaders. Uh, uh, we need a, 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 a plan where that we can have people who can lead West Indies. Uh, and I think that Alzari at the moment, you know, the work where, how he demonstrated in the field, you know, his commitment to the Leeward Islands team uh, bowling at the right times. I, I think that, that um, you know, he has really impressed us. And um, and I believe with the, with the bit of exposure, you know, he will probably be able to be a future captain for West Indies. Also, I would also like to say as well that I think that he will be a good support for Sheho as our leader. And uh, again, I want to congratulate Azari Joseph, not only on his birthday, but becoming West Indies vice captain for the 50 over games against England coming up. Uh, as you know, we uh, if, even though this press conference is for the team to play against England, uh, we still have to be cognizant of the fact that um, we've got a team in South Africa, and we we as selectors uh, we are monitoring that that tour that eighteen tour because obviously with this with the eighteen tour overlapping, uh, some of those players will not be eligible for selection for the fifty over games here, uh, and that you know, was a challenge as well for us, uh, having to pick, you know, teams with a team playing away. Uh, but we've been monitoring the success of those players there uh, because obviously you do all know that we are going down to Australia uh, at the beginning of the next year and Australia with the success of the 50 over World Cup, you know, it's going, always going to be a hard tour to go Australia. So without any further ado, I'm quite willing to, uh, um, you know, answer to any questions that, or any queries that anybody wants to a clarity on. Dario? Thanks, mm -hmm. thanks Desmond. And we're just gonna take probably 15 to 20 minutes of questions. And we're gonna go on the basis of raised hands. Um, if persons have questions for the lead selector, I'm gonna ask you to please indicate by raising your hand in the Zoom group chat. We'll take those questions in chronological order. Yeah, I, the person that has the name as West Indies Cricket Development, you could go ahead and um, unmute your microphone and pose your question. Good afternoon, Chief Selector. I I know that um, there is no Darren Bravo within the squad, and um, could you tell us what is your thinking behind of not? giving him a call up after an, an impressive CG United Super 50 championship this year? Yeah, I think that it was a, a very uh, tough decision for us to make as a panel. Um, Darren has proven uh, not only this year, but last year as well uh, in the Super 50 tournament uh, to be somebody who, you know, uh, performed well at this level. Uh, but we have invested in, um, in players like... Um, you know, Alex Antones and, and, and Casey Carty. And we just figure that, you know, selecting this team, we also had to take into consideration that a World Cup 2027 is something that we've got in mind. And we believe that we've, we have um, invested in these players and we believe that we should give them the opportunity playing against a very strong England side. And, and that's the reason why uh, Darren has been, been omitted. Thank you, Chief Selector. I 
a Kim Green. Hey, uh, good afternoon. Do you hear me? Yes, 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 I can hear you. Um, oh, my... Yeah, my question is just two questions. One, um, oh, my... Oh, my uh, Akeem, Akeem Green, Newsroom, Guyana. Akeem, okay, okay, Akeem. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, your reflections, you know, uh, the recent Super 50. Uh, you, you have this England series coming up, but I think you would agree, uh, Mr. Haynes, that the batting was, wasn't up to scratch in that Super 50. Um, it, it seems not to be turning the corner. What are your, your thoughts on, on where we are as a batting group at this point in time? And how do we able uh, to address those issues uh, to be more competitive at international cricket? Well, I think that uh, one must also take into consideration that we have a new uh, system here, uh, point system, where we are asking players. And I think Coach Sammy and our analysts, um, you know, they've done a fantastic job in trying to let the players understand what is needed at international level. You know, if you look at the World Cup uh, tournament that just finished yesterday, you can see that that standard is pretty high. And we try to set benchmarks so that players playing, you know, that in the first 10 power play, we're looking for 60 plus runs. In the middle, we want guys to go at five and six and over because obviously with the spin and so forth. So we, uh, um, as, a, as a, I can say, as a board and as, and as an organization, we're trying to make sure that we can get the players understanding what is required at international level. It's going to take some time. Uh, but to, to answer your question directly, I think that what we must do is to find ways of how best we are going to get players who are having some certain weaknesses playing against spin or not rotating the strike into programs in order for me to start monitoring them a bit. But I think that you must give them a little chance. I think what has happened is that this season was new in the sense of the point system. And I believe in the next couple of Super 50 tournaments, you will see an improvement in the battle. Yeah, just the other one, the two part one, uh, Alzari uh, being vice captain, uh, uh, a center in the future that maybe you guys are looking looking uh, at him in the captaincy role, you know, should she be unavailable? And just tell me about your, your thoughts on uh, Shafin Rutherford. Um, you know, he's played some T20s before, uh, but you guys have drafted him into this uh, into this squad. Uh, what are some stuff that went in his favor uh, for selection? Well, um, not not only this tournament, but I think uh, both of them and myself, the selectors, we were looking, I spoke to Sammy about it in the 